Okay, Gang Playing Galleon. My favorite music in the game, I have to think. This music is just amazingly awesome. So, you gotta hit this guy ten times. He gives you a freebie to start, which is nice. Then he charges across the deck and gives you another one. Now it's gonna be two charges, and that second charge is a lot faster. Because each time he does something, he speeds up. You'll notice the attack pattern stays the same, and then the next one gets a little tougher, and the next one gets a little tougher after that. So there we go. And just as we get done with the easy part, the music changes to signify you're in trouble. Because the cannonballs are a-fallen. And just like that. So now we've got five hits on them. And here come the cannonballs again. There you go. You gotta time your run through them very carefully because after they bounce off the deck, they can still hit you. It's because because they've managed to bash the deck doesn't mean they're clear of your hitbox yet. Be very careful. Which way is it coming from? This way. Oh, I almost lost Donkey Kong there by being a little careless. That's better. Come on, where are you, cannonballs? And there you go. That's it. Thanks a lot, DK. I'm glad you're happy, buddy. So, credits roll and we're done. Ha, ah, credits with a K. That's cute. Wait a minute. Coding, claptrap, characters crush, a coloring critter, concept clump. Oh, God. Commander King Cruel. The end with a question mark. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. No, you know what that means. It means he's not done. Here he comes again. So there's Duck there to start. He'll hit you with this. Same thing. Duck here. Now you wait. He's going to do higher jumps, but not as far. You get under him again. Dodge his crown. Hit him again. Duck. He's going to come with that same jumping pattern for the second time like he did last time. But this time, he's coming with the really small ones. And that's right, Diddy. You didn't do any of the work, but you get the credit, buddy. Yeah, Diddy. Getting back that banana. Yeah. And there you go. A whippersnapper. I cut grass? Kremlings. You're not a you're, you're not a man though. Look in the horde, you'll be. Huh. Sweet. <laughs> Screw you, you old man. Why do you have Rambi in a crate on your porch? Yeah, that's right. Kong's banana horde. Sweet deal. And now we get a little credits concerto for the cast of characters. Naughty. The brown ones like the run and millstones. Necky. Oh, Army. I'm not sure what I like the least. I think Armies are right up there, though. Slippers were kind of annoying, too. Haha, <laughs> Manky Kong. You're not in the family anymore, buddy. Mini Necky. Why weren't you with the Necky? That would just make sense. The aquatic bad guys. <laughs> Bite size. Yeah, you can definitely see later on how they theme the enemies a little better than they did in this game. I think Chomps Jr. is scarier. It's faster. Then there's the Clambo. Don't ever Rambo the Clambo. Oh, God. Chomps Jr. is going to eat you. Oh, the Squidges are going to eat you, buddy. Poor Chomps Jr. Ah, the Kremlings. Bet you the names all start with K. Critter. Clump. Crash. Unbelievable. Ah, oh, the Claptraps. My personal favorite. <laughs> the Rock Croc. And the Jerk Ass Crushes. <laughs> That's about the only sound you made very naughty because you got your ass kicked. Master Necky. Ah, oh, the Queen Bee. She buzzed off. <laughs> And really naughty, you actually kind of put up a fight. Dum Drum, I respect you. Master Necky Sr., you're just a recolor. You're ridiculous. King Cruel. 
What's he doing in my treehouse? Rambi! He makes it to the next game. Doesn't make it any doesn't make it to the third one. Espresso doesn't even make the second game. On guard makes it to all three. Winky never appears again. Squawks makes it to all three, but he ain't carrying a light. Oh the Kongs. Well, I guess it just was, wasn't it, Cranky? Hey Candy Kong. Just wait your turn, Cranky. Good lord, you're annoying. Not even in a funny way annoying. You're just annoying. Diddy, the true star of this game. Even though it is Donkey Kong country. Yeah. You celebrate. Even though you didn't do a whole lot of the work. What's that? Oh, way to go, Diddy. Nice one. Oh, good lord. He just donkey punched him. Makes sense. He is Donkey Kong. Oh, what a bully. Oh, what a jackass. Bite his finger. Bite his finger. Yeah, good boy, Diddy. And now they just wander off together like nothing happened. No, you didn't. Good for you, Cranky, a lion sack of crap. He couldn't play his way out of a wet paper bag. Definitely not. Ancillary software. Oh, there they are. There's the, the names I know and love from Rare, the Stampers. The Stampers did a lot of good work. All the way from way back when they did Pinbot on the NES, right up through the Donkey Kong Country games. And then they left Rare. I'm not sure why. David Wise doing the music. He makes some amazing music in this the, the three games. Oh, and then, of course, the Stampers, maybe that's why they had to leave. They had half the family employed by that point, and they had to do layoffs. They just figured, let's just lay off one family. That way it won't hurt a bunch of families. Manual and text. Allison's the one we owe for that. That's great. Hmm. That's at least four Stamper names. Chris and Tim are the main two, though. Mr. Yamuchi. Where's Shiggy? Oh, there's Ken Lobb, though. Yeah, he did a lot of rare stuff as well. You may remember a gun in Goldeneye named after him. The Clob. The Ken Lob. Too bad they named the worst uh, automatic in the game after him, but what can you do? It's a gun. Presented by Nintendo. Thanks, Nintendo. Thank you, Rare. But what does this mean for the price of tea in China? Oh, that's fast forward. We now have a 101%. An hour and a half. That's that's not bad for a big layoff like I've had. I'll take a 90 minute uh, take on things. But anyway, that's how things are going to finish up here. But, if you're lucky tomorrow, there might be a little bonus video to finish off the talk through. We'll see you then.